Chris Rowe, Fox 5 Health Watch. Maryland is reporting its first malaria infection in more than four decades. State health leaders say a person living in the state was bit by a mosquito. Fox 5's reporter Nana saying to Bonsu is in Rockville right now with the latest. Nana, do we know where this person lives? Guys, good evening. So we don't know the exact location, but what we can confirm from health leaders is that the person lives in the national capital region. So that could be right here in Montgomery County, Prince George's County, Frederick or Charles County. But what we can confirm is that the Department of Agriculture spent the evening spraying specific areas after this reported case of malaria. That's scary. I was a little bit shocked. To find out that someone living in the state of Maryland was hospitalized and is now at home recovering after contracting malaria. It's getting crazy out here. The state health department says this individual did not recently travel outside the United States. This case is the first of its kind not related to travel in over 40 years. You think of malaria, you think of something that's like a previous generation ago, the fact that it would be contracted by somebody who wasn't living or traveling is a little scary. The mosquito-borne diseases can occur and do occur in the United States. Dr. Amisha Dalja is an infectious disease physician and a scholar with John Hopkins. It's only a matter of chance that the right mosquito bites the right person and you have locally acquired malaria just like they used to have in Maryland and just like we've seen in Florida and Texas. So I think it's important that people look at this case of malaria just like the cases in Florida and Texas as well as all the West Nile cases that we're hearing about uh, as, a, as, a, as a wake up call that mosquito borne illnesses are present and if you are complacent about mosquito control, uh, they can come back. Malaria is a mosquito-borne disease caused by a parasite. Right now, health leaders say the risk of people getting malaria is still low, but doctors want the public to be aware of the signs. Malaria symptoms are very nonspecific. It's fevers, chills, muscle aches, and pains. And sometimes vomiting while people are on edge about malaria. I'm definitely going to start wearing more bug spray. Others who've lived in other parts of the world aren't on alert. To be fair, I've gotten malaria before and I was fine. In fact, I've gotten it five times and I'm still here. Now, there are a number of things you can do to protect yourself from getting bit by a mosquito, like wearing loose clothing or even using insect repellent. That's specifically for mosquitoes and removing standing water sitting near or around your house. Now, U.S. Senators Cardin and Van Hollen released a joint statement saying they stand ready to send federal support to state and local governments, which includes money and technical assistance, if ready. They go on to wish the person affected by malaria a speedy recovery guys